wrong. Well, Hilary, it's all over. You can't believe it. It's all over. This great long journey through all these games of countdown. And now in the very final, uh, with magnificent 94 points, will you uh, hail the new champion of countdown, Hilary Hopper? Well, you did well. Did you think you'd ever get this far? Not really, no. In the, in the quarterfinals and the semi-finals, I was, I was hoping, when I was watching Hillary, I was hoping she'd win, and I'm sorry she did. <laughs> <laughs> I know, yes, I know that Nita, the number one seed, when she saw Hillary on TV early in the series, thought, I hope I don't end up playing Hillary, because that's the one lady I'm, I'm frightened of. Well, the one contestant I'm frightened of. She's so, a, a worthy champion. She certainly is. Very sporting of you. She's going to get the dictionaries. You're going to get uh, 100 quid of uh, book tokens. Well, might not be much, but you don't come on here for the great prize. You come on here for the fun of taking part, and you've got a lot of fun. We applaud and salute Kevin Nelson. <laughs> so, that's it. Well done to both. And uh, presentation shortly. Just a final word. Considered verdict from Derek and Giles. Well, this is a very happy series. Sometimes, though, I get people writing in and saying, you're too silly. You ought to be more sensible. And to my defence, I bring a saying of Horace. A jest, a laughing word, often decides the highest matters better than sharpness and seriousness. That's my view. What's your view, Derek? Well, I'd like to quote um, the words of Oscar Wilde, which I seem to think are so appropriate, when he said, never make love to a Methodist standing up, because it could lead to dancing. <laughs> <laughs> Well, as uh, Derek and Giles waltz off, doubtless hand in hand, to the presentation area to uh, hand over these marvellous dictionaries to our champion, just time for me to say that uh, we have come to the end of this series and we shall sadly be departing, but uh, only for four weeks. We shall be back again with series 14 in four weeks' time. Well, I say we'll be back, most of us will be back, but uh, just for a while, Cathy won't be with us because Cathy is off to do another TV game show. Uh, I haven't a clue what it's called, but I do know that Michael Parkinson is the host. So, good luck to Cathy. Uh, no clues, however, to discover who is the uh, happiest person in this Countdown studio. It is our brand new champion, and only our second lady champion in the whole of the uh, run of Countdown. It's Hilary Hopper. Quite rightly, Countdown is regarded as the veritable Everest of words and numbers. And happily for us today, we have a true Hilary planting her flag triumphantly on the summit. Our Hillary is Hillary Hopper. <laughs> well done, and many congratulations, Hillary. Very nice to get the prize from the old Yeti himself, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yes. And what a prize. Look at this, the world's biggest and best dictionary, leather-bound, all for you. Beautiful, thank you very much. The thank only you. problem is you've got to take them home with you now. <laughs> I'll manage it somehow. Yes. But it's very nice doing countdown with you. I think next time we work together, they will call it put down. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, well, it's very popular. And now I would like to introduce the appropriately sharper Kevin Tensing, who got to Everest, put his flag in, but just a moment too late. Kevin, come and be congratulated. <laughs> well, well done. Well done. And, of course, we mustn't forget the team of bearers who are running up and down this mountainside, series after series, Richard Whiteley and his marvellous bevy of brilliant Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks once again to all the team here. Thank you very much indeed for all you at home for watching. You've been watching us now for eight months. Four-week break for us, but we'll be back again September the 28th, so make sure you see us all then for the next series of Countdown. Till then, goodbye.
Well, of course, I'm no Carol Vorderman, but even I've got enough fingers to work out that there's actually five whole countdownless weeks before Richard and Company return on October the 5th, leaving the passing of time and talents to be marked by that cruelest of measures, the gong. Yes, the gong show is back to sort out the men from the boys, and that's just the viewers. The acts just sort of die, starting on Monday. Uh, gather round, men. We have precisely one minute to win this game. Aye, looks like a watch is hot. I think it's a drawing pin on class. That stupid boy. No, no, he could be right, because it may, of course, be a tech. By Joe, well done, Wilson. A tech. A tech? Don't panic! Don't panic! Jones, calm yourself. Calm the yourself. new game of Pictionary. Have you got the doodle bug? Crave a little flavor, refresh your little strides. It's a busy stream, so get busy with the busy soda stream. That's busy. There are hundreds of lovely things you can make for yourself, your family, and your home. All you need is a little encouragement, a little help, and a lot of bright ideas. All you need is Superstitch. Published in weekly parts for filing in these binders, Superstitch will show you with step-by-step -step instructions how to improve your sewing, how to be creative with needle crafts, and how to knit really beautiful things like this. Here's something you could make tomorrow. All you need is Superstitch. I've got a gum that's reekly spearmint gum For me it's the Jew, it's my number one It's so minty cool, minty through and through it It tastes so great, you'll just love to chew it Wrigley spearmint, wrigley spearmint gum Cool fresh taste, share it with someone It's so minty cool, minty through and through it Tastes so great, you just love to chew it Tastes so great, you just love to chew it Breathtaking stuff. In 20 seconds, you can only see a flash of a white knuckle ride you can experience in a day's visit to Ben Bombs Margate, the Looping Star, Apollo, the New Zeppelin, lots more. Pay once and all the rides are free all day. Ask at the local station for the combined train admission ticket to Ben Bomb Brothers Margate. <laughs> This autumn on four, battle for the planet. concept in television. Watch, discuss, and vote. From your television all the way through to the United Nations. Join in the battle for the planet. Join Jonathan Porritt in Battle for the Planet starting Sunday the 6th of September at 7.15 on Channel 4. Two songs and a joke have inspired today's very different treats from the world of animation chosen for us by Richard Evans. <laughs> 